Okay, so our final performance of the night, and whoa, was it a big one. Uh, this uh, was Cameron and Cassidy. Cassidy and Cameron. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know, I said, yeah, you know what Cameron going to do with this song. You knew it. You know they were going. They 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 were going to bring it, and and ornament the heck out of it. Um, and I also find it very interesting to hear what Cassidy was going to do with this song. I was intrigued. Yeah. I knew intrigued. What was going to do, but intrigued as to what Cassidy was going to do. I said this song has crazy modulation in it, and I said, "Oh, they gave that modulation, Cassidy. Let me see what you can do, young lady." I said, her voice is so beautiful. It is. So beautiful. I love something that um, that Cameron did when they started the song. I loved how delicate Cameron was with the song. Very delicate and started it. And I said, Cameron, watch out. Watch out for those runs. They got a little much for me. And that's just personal. Can't wait to hear what Stephanie has to say about this. I said, and watch the changing of a melody. This song is so iconic. You don't want to have your runs change a melody. Mm -hmm. Good taste. And to me, it kind of did not fit. It was kind of like, let me show everyone how I can really run. Mm -hmm. And it sounded a little discombobulated when the changing of the notes happened. Mm -hmm. Um, Love how Kate, um, how her Cassidy just sang it straight. She was yeah. like, I don't do runs, my voice doesn't do runs. Um, and she just was like, You know what? I'm just, I, I mean, I'm not speaking for her, but she, in my mind, she was like, You know what? I'm just gonna sing it the way I sing, right? The way I sing, and I thought that hit um, the spot. I said, there's a part in the song that requires runs. Um, like towards the back half of the song. I yeah. Front, that's why I struggled a little bit with Cameron's performance because I wanted the front half to be sung straight. Because mm-hmm. I'm a Mariah purist. <laughs> um, I said, incredible. You know when Cameron really shined on, on this song during the bridge? I thought... Uh- we- I thought when we went to the bridge, Cameron shined. That's and I was waiting for that because Buble alluded to the fact, like, if you really, if you open up your eyes and if you really connect with that bridge, you're going to make people weep. So I was waiting for that bridge as well. Mm-hmm. I, um, I said, this was an amazing pairing. You couldn't have gotten two different voices <laughs> when two voices come together and it just sounds amazing. Right. I, so they actually work with the harmonies. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Um, Cassidy is just one of those voices that those incredible 80s, 90s ballad female rocker singer, like a Kim Carnes, like like that's that's what I hear in her voice. It's 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 throwback. Yeah, it really Throw, is. Throwback to some of the best rock singing. And yes. I feel like she has that voice. Mm-hmm. Like she's she's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Stephanie. So ugh, I was like, Buble, oh my god! Like you knew he was the last one. His his yep. his group was the last one, and I could hear the music in the background. I'm like, what is this? I know it is. What what's this? Mm-hmm. And then he said, Hero. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so I was like, all right, all right. Like you said, I already know what Cameron's going to do. I said, but. Cassidy, what's she gonna do? I said, how's she gonna handle this song with her throat? Like, I know, I know, I know her, like, she's got a great voice, but this is not a song that she would pick. So let me start with her. The Stevie Nicks choice of it all. Like, I just heard Stevie Nicks all up in her throat, just like you said, like that 80s rock sound, the grit holleration. She did make a couple choices here and there. Like her, her, her opening line was very different than the melody of the song. But I was like, but I like that for you. Yeah. And I like that for your voice. So I appreciated that. 
Um, I love when she sang her harmony parts. I believe at some point she, she sang on top of Cameron. And I was like, oh, I really, really like their blend together. And just like you said, I love that Cassidy said, I'm going to just stay in my lane. I'm going to make a choice here and there, but I'm going to just sing this song in my lane with my throat because that's already different. As Gwen said in her comments, she's never heard somebody with her voice type sing this song. So her singing the song pretty much as is was enough because that was different enough. Cameron, we are we knew what Cameron was going to do and he did it. My issue is always, well, if they do if they do sing it regular and straight is it going to sound karaoke yeah. but if they do put a couple more ornamentations on it is it going to sound too much i felt like there were a couple times there were like two two choices that i would take away two choices be like that was a little much that was a little much yeah. but this but but cameron is gifted okay. cameron is cameron should be on broadway today like today, they have got like the the theatrics in the throat. They've got the the high tenor of it all. They've got the the power, like everything. And not saying that they should just be on Broadway. Like that's the only lane that they they could be in. But Cameron is just so dog on talented. Their vocal reminds me of Tevin Campbell, and. Be, I think more because of the high timbre of it and that bridge. Cause like I said, I was waiting for the bridge based on what Michael was saying and Cameron just executed it so gorgeously. It was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. What'd you think of Cassie's key change modulation? I was waiting for that too. Cause I'm like, mommy, what you going to do with that? Because she has like a, she's got range. Yeah. I didn't know if she had that much range and she really did. And what was cool was that she made those upper parts crunchy. I was like, how are you making this crunchy? And I like it. Yeah. I like the crunch up there that she could, she was able to do that. So, and, and their voices again, their voices together was an oddly cool blend. I was like, how did, how did, maybe Buble is a genius because I would have never thought that that could be, but it was, and I loved it. So congratulations to both. So um, who did Buble keep? He kept Cameron. Mm -hmm. And who got stolen, and, and who stole Cameron? Because you knew that when I'm singing like that. Well, listen, you. We knew, I knew Reba was going to keep her number one, because before the performances and before their segment even started, Reba said that she had a steal and she was ready to use it. So I was like, all right, well, here we go. This is the last performance. Yep. And then when Reba said that her voice sounded like a hug, I was like, oh, well, if, if Buble keeps Cameron, then Reba is going to take Cassidy. And that is exactly what happened. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Huge pickup for Reba. Yes. Huge. Yes. Gigantic.